If you can find things that make your life beautiful every day and you also have pain, then you can find some peace versus when you shut yourself in, it's just you alone with your pain. The pain is everything you have. Very hard to move forward in your life when the pain is all you have. One of the things about depression is it, the, the expression I always use is that it feeds itself. It tells you to do things that's going to make it worse. So for example, if you're a social person, but you're feeling depressed, the depression might say, you know what? Isolate. Don't be around people. So then you do that and then the depression feels worse. And then you do that more. And the next thing you know, you feel it gets darker and darker. Um, depression will tell people to eat things that make them sicker. That it's always, it's this, it's like having the devil on your shoulder, depression, just whispering in your ear, all the things that you should do that's actually just going to make you feel worse. So it's very important to be able to fight back on that and to say, all right, the worse I feel, the better I need to eat because depression is going to create inflammation. So then I need to have my diet perfect on those days when I feel the worst. And I need to do the things that help me feel better. So when I'm feeling down, that's when I need to call my best friend that makes me laugh or your daughter, whoever it is that can lift your spirits back up again, rather than shut in. You know, I, I use my group as an example because that's when I'm checking on people every day. And so I see all the patterns. And so what I always do is I look at, okay, cause I have to fill out a log every day. So I see what's your mood. So if your mood is a two out of 10, so depressed and your self care was 15 minutes of meditation, I go, well, that's not working. I don't care. It's not that you fill something in on self-care so that I say that you did it like you got a passing score. It has to work. So if you had a two mood, but you meditated and you got it up to a six, okay, that's a good one. But if that's not working, then you don't. But so then you go, okay, what does bring my mood up? So when I talk to my daughter, I always feel happier. Perfect. That's a good self-care. When I read a good book, uplifting book, right? Not a, you want to read something political or self-help or something. You want to read something fun? Fine. That, that can be helpful. You know, getting out to go for walks or maybe sit outside. If you feel too bad to walk too much because you're in pain, being somewhere outside where you can watch the sunset. Uh, I've never seen somebody worry themselves into remission. I've never seen that happen. Um, I see people who get better because they find peace and go, okay, if I have to live with the symptoms I have for the rest of my life, if I have to always have this sharp pain sometimes, if I always have to have this back pain, will I still be glad to be alive? Is there still a possibility that I can have a beautiful existence? And if you can find that space to say, okay, I can still find peace in my life. I, I'm happy that I get, to, you know, I have my daughter in my life, whatever it is that you have. If you can find things that make your life beautiful every day and you also have pain, then you can find some peace versus when you shut yourself in, it's just you alone with your pain. The pain is everything you have. Very hard to move forward in your life when the pain is all you have, right? So I want your your life to be complex and and beautiful and have so many different things going on that it's like, okay, I have this pain, but there's all this other stuff. I can be happy. And what's interesting is when people do that, then one, they're okay with getting better or not getting better because life's good anyway. If I have to have pain, I have to have pain. But bringing their stress and down and their mood up actually accelerates their recovery and they end up getting better. So it's just one of those things where if you can accept and be happy, even with the symptoms you have, you have a much better chance of those symptoms actually going away. The people I see who tell me, I will be happy when the pain's gone, that worries me. Because happiness is a choice. It shouldn't be dependent on symptoms. <laughs>